Okay, um, this is Drew's awesome idea, and I actually think it's kind of cool. Um, this is GPR, uh, Galfi Pirate Radio, um, and we're on our way to uh, Con Carolinas. Um, I'm the first one in the car because I'm the one picking everybody up. Um, and we're, we're going to Con Carolinas today, and we are going to be doing our one year anniversary show. The first time we did anything sort of live even though it was just record panels at Con Carolinas last year. Um, it's kind of cool that, you know, this year we're coming back with an actual show. Um, and I absolutely adore Con Carolinas because, you know, I've always had a really good history with them. With doing, like, live podcast panels and stuff like that. So I am excited to bring back that tradition. Um, the last one we did was Mr. Adventure, or Amazing People Adventure, sorry, Mr. Adventure, a couple years ago. Um, was the last one we did there. Um, and the cool thing is, is that at the charity auction, I will be doing a, a special thing with, uh, both Drew and T. Glenn Bain with his, um, with Bare Bones Multiverse, Bare Bones Multiverse. Uh, we're going to be bringing Mr. Adventure back at Con Carolinas because, like I said, Con Carolinas is a special con for me. And, you know, I'm willing to do these sort of things for them because they've, been so incredibly awesome to me over the past couple of years. But I'm going to turn this off now. I'm going to eat, get some breakfast, pick up our first, uh, my first co-host, and I got surprises for both of them, which they do not know about. Well, they knew they're getting surprises. They just don't know what they are. So this is going to be awesome. So uh, this is me signing up for right now, and we will, uh, I'll be, we'll be back once we get more uh, of the co-hosts in the car. Okay, peace. One more, one more thing to say here. Um, this is GPR, the road trip. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, see you guys again once I pick up Drew. Okay. So, I've run some errands this morning, pick up some prizes, got some stuff done for StellarCon, because I'm being a nice guy. Um, so, we're finally here at Drew's house. Um, I'm not going to bring the camera up when I go knock on the door, but we're at Drew's house, and I'm not going to show you where it's at for... For privacy, you know, we here at GPR, you know, we do get crazy fan mail, and we, we do have our own our group our own groupies and our own stalkers. So, just be on the safe side. We're not going to release or show where any of us live. We think it's safer that way. But just to let you know, Drew is actually now coming down without me having to come get him, because um, I guess he saw that I was here. But I guess he does not realize I'm actually recording something. So this is actually kind of cool. Um, so this is me signing off. Um, next time you, you see us, your pregnancy drew on camera and things like that. And we'll be picking up our last person, Angela. Oh, and look, see in the background right there? Oh, you can't see me pointing with my finger. There's Drew. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look, there's, there, there he is. There's Drew. Looking all nice and happy this morning. Okay. So see you soon. The red light now. All right, David Howe, you need to explain to me why no one talks about the, it's not even uh, the subtext, it's this overt religious meaning here in Paradise Towers, the the second Sylvester McCoy episode. It is, oh, come on, Paradise Towers alone. I mean, it's, it's obviously um, alluding to the church and religion. I mean, Pex is obviously Jesus. He's meek. <laughs> he sacrifices himself for the good of paradise, and then the final shot of the show is Pex lives scrawled across the wall. No, you can't. You can't tell me that wasn't a religion. And yet, no one talks about religion in any of the special features of Paradise Tower. So, so we're gonna have words because I want your opinion on this because um, you didn't mention it in the book either. So, so there's that. And I'm gonna ask Davey to actually drive 
without a camera on. Yes. Just so, you know, I'd like to make it to Cotton Carolinas so that you can actually watch this footage. So, Davey, let's watch out for that school bus full of children! want me to actually film you while you're driving? Yes, why not? Okay, so well, boring. I mean, yeah, that's what I was no, going to say. It is. No. Here we are, driving. <laughs> Yay, driving! No. So amazing! Well, this is, well, now we got everybody um, for the uh, GPR road trip. This is exciting. We're getting ready to film our one-year anniversary show at Con Carolinas. We didn't, we didn't have a show at Con Carolinas last year, though. Well, we had one at Illogicon. No. That was the first GPR no. Con show. No, no, go it back was and not. watch the beginning. No, let me. We did panels let me last year. Finish. Uh huh. Con Carolina panels. No. I wasn't even on GPR. Blah 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 blah. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay, pretty pretty princess, go for it. Pee <laughs> my ass. Yep. Okay. Basically, what we did last year, like I was talking about earlier, was that um, they, GPR did some panels there. Uh, Amy Sturgis was nice enough to actually introduce me on, on her panel as David Bouchamp from Galfay Pryor Radio. So in a way, yes, that was the first time so we David filmed... Bouchamp show. First time we had ever filmed GPR in any sense of the imagination at a convention. So yes, for me this is the one year anniversary of okay. GPR at a At the Illogicon panel you specifically say, oh this is our first GPR panel. Official, yes. Official as in, yeah, why do you, why do you have to take all the fun out of this? There is no fun. I think it's funny. I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, he's editing it so we're not going to see any of this no, anyway. No, it's be, all going to be there. It'll be, hello, this is, and then it'll cut to the con. No, 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 no. And then it'll cut to him floating in his bathtub crying. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. to die. Well, at least I know I know I know what's gonna happen this time. Yeah. There's yeah. no surprises. <laughs> I know. Then so, you I thought you had one a few weeks ago too, like a little one. Yeah. yeah. But That's this why is the this is this is the mother load. Okay, well you had just you said on Facebook you had one last year and now it's and you're gonna do Yeah, I right? mean a small one's a small one. This is the this is the payload. This is like the the uh, the twelve pound vaginal birth. Exactly, because this one's actually bigger oh, than really? the last you, one. Oh, really? You've had one of those, Drew? That's her right. I've had neither of the mm -hmm. topics of conversation, <laughs> and this is me smiling about both of those facts. So, okay, let's talk about the con. What do you guys hope hope is going to happen at this con this year? What are you What are you looking forward to? I would like to not be uncomfortable on the floor. I think, Did you not bring an air mattress? Well, Cord's bringing an air mattress. Okay, because I have one in the back of my car. No, Cord has one, apparently. That um, is what, sticky, you said? I Ooh. did not say that. I believe that was your uh No, you said, it was, you said it was sticky Stop and something being else. Gross. <laughs> I love you, Cord. You know, and, and one of these days, we're going to go to that pirate and heavy metal show together that I keep missing. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, besides being uncomfortable on the floor, I mean, what, what do you want to get out of the show? I, mean, I, I would like to experience my very first con. I mean, let's face it, um, this will be my first, as you've said, real con. Yes. Um, well, you're also going to be here all three days. All three days. Staying in the hotel room. Staying on in, in the hotel room. With me. With you as Yay. you pass your, your, uh, your urethra baby. Yes. Um, um, and honestly, I would... I, I say this about Con Carolinas, I think it's very much a mini Dragon Con. Because uh -huh. you get all sorts of different things going on. Um, with some of the other smaller cons, they're, they're, they're pretty specific, but here, you know, you do have your, like, your film track, you got your writing track, you got your, you know, you have a little of everything there that's going on. So it's really exciting. People come out in costumes, it's, it's, I can't wait for you to experience this. And I think this is a, a phenomenal show for you to be getting your first real con experience because like we were talking about earlier with um with heroes con comic cons and and sci-fi fantasy cons are two totally different monsters because i remember going from the comic con to my first sci-fi con as an author and it was i wish i had known about this earlier because i would have been going to more of these sci-fi fantasy cons because they're so much fun i have been to dragon con i have you uh, I have. I've been twice. I haven't told you my Dragon Con stories. You have not told me your Dragon Con stories. All right. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. 
What does Angela, what do you want to get out of this weekend? I just want to have fun. What was that? I just want to have fun. See, girls just want to have fun. Yes, they yes. do. So what, what, what equates fun in your book? Oh my god! She wants to be able to use her costumes. Yeah, Oops. that works. That your works. Your camera's making work. noise. No, that was his GPS. Oh. Yeah, that was my GPS. Told me a church. Or a church or a school nearby. That lets you know if it's... Oh, just to slow down? Yeah. So I don't run over anybody. Because he's a crazy driver. I am not a crazy Seriously, driver. Seriously, crazy driver. Be glad we're not on the highway yet. <laughs> well, there was that school bus full of kids. That's true. But Wait, that's another story. Um... So you just want to have fun? Yes. Okay. I would like to learn something. What would you like to learn? I'm not really sure. Well, one, Why I'd like to... Why the camera on me? Because you were talking a moment ago. It's still on me. It's not on anymore. Wow, this really wow. feels like a, like a, a lost footage film. <laughs> this is the opening five minutes of the movie before the monster shows up uh, and we have to uh, we have to survive this yeah. is the, all that's the, left the kidney stone the final the final you the kidney, like stone. Past, kidney stone it came from beneath your it kidneys came from the kidneys you know there's a movie called One-Eyed Monster yes uh, starring Ron Jeremy yes and Amber Benson wait Amber what? Amber Benson as in Amber Benson I believe so. As in Buffy fame, Amber Benson? I haven't seen the movie. I just looked at the credits on the front cover. <laughs> I wanted to find out what if it was really about Ron Jeremy's One-Eyed Monster. And it is. Apparently, it comes to life and kills people. So. Uh, I Are you sure? I mean, you packed enough. I mean, I have one bag in the GPR box. Some, Who has the I dialect have... and, and his one bag? Everything else is yours. We're talking about like five or six costumes, which means five or six pairs of shoes. Angela's. A couple pairs of hats. Angela's. <laughs> That's makeup Angela's. right there. I have to do makeup stuff this weekend. You guys. Angela's. Oh, Angela's. This whole bag is under the corset. Ghostbuster way. pillow, all Drew. That's awesome. So you guys hush. You can try being a costumer and try to get everything in a little suitcase. <laughs> Especially when you bring like six or seven costumes, and two of them require boots, different types of boots. Wait, wait, did you say boots or boobs? Boots. Okay. There's only one set of boobs, they're right here. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. So you can see my awesome TARDIS necklace. I did see that, it was very cool. Yes, yeah, I did not bring any kilts this weekend. Uh, really? Because. You know, with it would all help the, the kidneys really don't just would have fall out. The kidney stone. No, no. <laughs> you there it doesn't hang? just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> it just decides, hey, there's nothing free range. just about a kidney stone. <laughs> I just didn't want to double over in pain at any one point. And... <laughs> oh, he's Scottish. <laughs> exactly. Um, Children of your eyes. That was me being nice. Um, I'll tell you something I would like to take a look at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, I guess true. I will be holding that camera later. <laughs> I actually am very oh, curious to see how Con really Carolinas um, handles a kid-friendly version of the... Because they are actually um, touting themselves as being relatively kid-friendly. Yeah, they are. So. Okay. They're, at a certain point, it does change. Yeah, but during the day, if you're in a specific <laughs> costume or anything, they tell you to go change. Like, if they don't think your costume is family friendly, they'll make you go change. There and, was a girl last year that and I, I was, yeah. Um, and let, let me explain a little bit behind that. Um, I, I love them to death. You know I love you, Torch, because I know most likely you're going to end up seeing this. Um, a, a lot of this came about not because of Torch, but some of the people with Torch brought with him. Um, and so some rules were, were oh, put into was, play. The person I have in mind was not, did not come with Torch. Really? Yes, it was someone totally different. Well, you know all the signs that say, you know, family-friendly costuming? That came from one of Torch's people for, from the previous year. But I love Torch to death. I love what Single Soul does. I'm excited that um, they're part of MonsterCon. They're going to be doing lots of MonsterCon. Because actually, um, the Single Soul people were the ones that got us... Uh, our invites to MonsterCon. So I'm excited about that. So we all have invites to MonsterCon. I just have to f forward our information to them. Like next year, though. Do you know how many cons are actually booking us right now because of GPR? 
A lot are. Um, and I may have a fun announcement oh, and or product available at MonsterCon, which I'm crazy excited about, but I can't talk about yet. Have I heard about this project? Maybe, but I'll tell you about it when the cameras aren't rolling for oh, yeah, I potential understand. legal reasons. Yeah. Well, I mean, th there are a lot of projects I want to talk about that I can't talk about until I get the clearance, which I think I'll finish getting all the clearance. Well, part of the clearance will come this weekend. Part right. of the clearance will come in two weeks. So I'm very excited about all, all the upcoming projects I can start talking about. I think about. you and Glenn are just excited so you can actually stop with these oh, the, barely, barely Facebook, disguised Facebook, Facebook messages. No, well, I mean, Davey will never stop with vague book. Wait, vague? Vague. Oh. Vague. Oh, vague. As in your statuses. Yes. Every single one of them. I think, I think a status should be vague and exciting. Okay, I'm passing a kidney stone, that's vague. No, no, I'm not talking about that one. Oh my god, oh my god, the pain is killing me? No. That could be vague. You could be having fun. <laughs> Um, that is true, but um, no, um, I'm excited. I'm excited about all the projects that are up upcoming. Um, it's not right. Oh, not not there, but there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm following my GPS. <laughs> oh. I could talk in monotone. You could think I'm a GPS. I'm actually quite surprised, Amy, that you don't Recalculating. have a uh... recalculating. <laughs> recalculating. Mine doesn't do that. A celebrity GPS. I have been thinking about getting the Han Solo. <laughs> Is it actually Harrison Ford? Yes. From what I've been told, it's Harrison. It's Harrison Ford. Like, I don't want any part of this. Well, all right, I'll record my voice as a GPS system. But you know which voice I would, I would kill for? John Cleese. No. He's done that. Oh, well. Um, oh, you're saying that you would want to have yeah. Tom happen. Baker. Tom Baker. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm telling you, Tom Baker would be the best because <laughs> they would tell him what to say, <laughs> yeah, yes. and he wouldn't say it. He'd say something totally different, so you would have to interpret. Actually, I meant to fix that. Instead of having the X-Wing fighter, I was going to have the TARDIS. I just, I was, unfortunately, in pain with kidney stones, so I could not get it changed over. I have no idea if you It is not seeing on. shit. No. Um, but, oh, yeah. Bro. That's for you. Um, it, 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 he might as well drama. be holding this camera. Yeah, <laughs> That's exactly. Right. The way he drives. Boosh. I'm gonna steal that shirt. I totally want that shirt. You're not getting my shirt. I'm totally gonna steal that shirt. No, you're not. Yes, I, am. I think a Lego will fight you for that one. You can wear this nice shirt. It'd be awesome. Okay, my shirt. Oh. So t tell me your Dragon Hunt story. All right. So. Um, a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago, around the year 2000, so technically, you know, there's probably someone watching this video who uh, that was wasn't alive then. That was before I, I, I started doing Dragon Con. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. We went to Dragon Con. Hold on a second. I need to I need to be a part of this, yes. this history. Here, I'll hold it for you. Oh. I'm not doing anything Hell no. Is it even filming? I don't even yeah, it's know. It's filming. There okay. we go. I was trying to right. get your whole face. Well, thank you. Hold up a little bit. Do you, do you want to help? Do you want to help him in film? No, I'm good. He's good. He's got it. I checked. <laughs> oh my I checked. god! I checked it. Good. So a long time ago, uh, I went to Dragon Con for some reason. I'm not 100 percent sure why. The first time I went to Dragon Con. Uh, the next year, I went to Dragon Con with my brother-in-law, who is a huge Yoshitaka Amano fan. I mean, who isn't? Yeah, yeah, Um and so, Amano, uh, the guy that did all the concept art for Final Fantasy. Yes, all the concept art for Final Fantasy, um, yeah. among other stuff. Yeah. He also did um, the um, Sandman graphic novel. Wait, is that the is that the Vampire Hunter D dude? Yes. Yeah. Oh, see, you, you just gotta tell me something good that he did. Sandman. Vampire Hunter D man. Hold on, I'm just gonna get the camera back on <laughs> on Davy for Davy. It is the Davy Busham show. It is the Davy Busham show. No. All right. I love yeah, don't, don't, stuff. don't even, don't even try to, ew! You should be watching this, but it's probably better just for <laughs> children if you're not. <clears throat> so, <laughs> we went to go to the panel that Yoshitaka Amano was doing live sketches. You can see, um, Amano. Get killed! Quit poking me! She's poking me, she's gonna kill us! I didn't do anything. Okay. 
I'm, I, I really want to hear your story. I'm not, I'm not I listening. was listening. He went to the panel where Amano was doing yes. sketches. I was listening. But it wasn't just Amano. Oh, no. James O'Barr was there as well. <laughs> oh, my God. This got so much more better. So, Yoshitaka Amano and James O'Barr are sitting in front of a stage full of... Okay, how... question. Is this pre-Coke uh, O'Barr or after Coke O'Barr? I don't know. Okay, because James O'Barr is... He just told you the date. It doesn't matter. Well, you don't know. Sometimes... Some, because James O'Barr has fallen off the wagon so many times. Uh -huh. That's why I was kind of curious if By the way, is... he's a really nice guy and has an awesome wife. Who, James O'Barr? Yes. I love James O'Barr. He's phenomenal. I actually used to know his publisher. And I can tell you stories about James, but I'm not going to. I want to hear this awesome story. But I just had this image. Now why did you interrupt him? Because I had this awesome image of James O'Barr and this dude and just the insane work that could that could come out of this. I'm very excited. Okay, now back to Drew's story. My nipples are hard right now. Now back to Drew's story. <laughs> I'm not really sure why every time I put the camera away from him, you go for his nipples. <laughs> this is happening a lot more than I, as the person in the back seat of the car, am comfortable time. with. <laughs> so you can imagine what the crowd is like in a Yoshitaki Amano James O'Barr. Uh, we have people dressed up as a lot of cosplay people who I didn't recognize because, um, oh god! Davey, put your phone down! Oh my god! I didn't do anything this time. It was Davey being stupid. In the case that this is the last time anyone hears from us, I would just like to know that... I found footage film. I think he's taking it I do love back. my wife. Sweetie, I love you very much. I'm sorry that this is the last thing that you'll ever see of me. But I promise... I had every intention of coming back alive. I, I really did. What medication are you on currently, Davey? I uh, told him I would drive. It would have been way more safer whether he was on medication or not. The, the I told him I would drive, which wouldn't necessarily have been a I've, thing. Well, I've driven his car before, and I didn't wreck it, and then put a dent in it. So any of those didn't happen. Um, <laughs> right now, I'm only on the... While he's driving. I'm only on the Rapaflow. What was it? Oh, Rapaflow. Rapa yes, it's, nice. it's a new Flow Max. It's new Flow Max. Yes. Because oh, the last Flow I'm Max wasn't again. Flow Maxi enough. Okay, James Obar, Japanese artist, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this with uh, um, filming you guys just in case. So uh, you can imagine what the the room was filled like. Um, having only played the first. Final Fantasy game for the NES. Uh, I have no idea who the other characters are, so... Um, but everyone else was dressed like the Crow and definitely did not need to be. Uh, Fat Crows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> they are taking suggestions of to what to draw and everyone's throwing out their suggestions. And um, you want me to no, much to the... Me. <laughs> grin of my brother-in-law who was there to see his childhood hero I scream out draw a monkey <laughs> yes now Yoshitaku Mano does not speak English or at that time he didn't I have no idea he but he did have a translator who by the way was phenomenal and there's a moment of silence as he turns to her and she shrugs her shoulders and goes Saru? Saru? And then someone shouts out, Yeah! A crow monkey! <laughs> yes! And I left. Unfortunately, it turns out that uh, after I left, Neil Gaiman showed up. <laughs> so I missed out on my chance of, of uh, getting Neil Gaiman to sign something, which was okay because I didn't bring anything by Neil Gaiman at the time, so... Shot. Why am I feeling like that? <laughs> I have I don't no know. idea. You're getting sad. You know what you should do is really you just need to put it on the dashboard facing us. Yeah, and it would go. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, 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 blah. but that's why you hold it, Angela. I think Drew's just getting like bored with holding it. Lazy. It's true. I He's am getting lazy. Bored. Well, I mean, I, there's Davy. Davy from Shop Show. Oh yeah, he needs his own theme song and everything. Just keep driving the road. Do, 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 do. 
Keep your eyes on the road. Yeah, come on, come on. I'll, I'll give you a theme song. Oh, searing pain! Sorry, just that would be the Davy Basham theme song for this weekend. Uh huh. Um, I'm taking the camera back to Drew. No, fuck no. <laughs> Okay, so now we're getting ready to look at Davy's book that Drew just found in his car. Let's see the cover. While we listen Let's to see this, the cover. While we listen to the soundtrack. Yeah, there you go, ladies. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta read it as walking. And here's Drew reading from. Here's the situation. See, I don't think walking would talk like this. All right. <laughs> you should do it. Friends, bros, countrymen, lend me your ears. For the situation has come to give you the situation. In my 28 years of crushing it, I have come to one simple realization. Life is a battle. It's you against the beat, fists against the air, skin against the sun, hair against gravity, bicep against dumbbell, wingman against grenade. And escalate against some of Friday traffic to the Jersey Shore. Some will leave the field victorious with a hot chick on their arm, while others, well, do I really need to embarrass them further by writing about them here? In this guidebook. Is it a guidebook? <laughs> in this guide. <laughs> in this guidebook. <laughs> You'll find everything you need to win the battle of life. From creeping, to blowouts, to fist pumps, to GTL, the sitch will <laughs> I can't do it. This is horrifying. My soul is dying just a little bit. Oh my god! Breathe! I can't see! I can't see! illustrations wow I'm not saying I'm Mother Teresa or anything but whatever this happened okay yeah <laughs> I'm going to die <laughs> I love you mom I love you dad oh my god and Max even though you bit me I love you too oh my and my babies Bushi and Evie <laughs> please save me is he masturbating in this picture <laughs> okay so we're here at Con Carolinas finally we're in the hotel room I like it a lot, but it's time for me to finally give um, Drew and Angela, my two wonderful co-hosts, uh, their, their surprises. Um, these surprises are actually sponsored, sort of. Um, Which means you didn't have to pay for them. No, I actually did pay for them, but I got them at a discount. Um, it's cheap. What? Awesome. Okay. So, this one's for you. Thank you. And this one's for you. And if you look, yours is all nice and shiny and sparkly. It has glitter on it. You can open it up. It's, some of them say something. <laughs> I'm going to walk off real quick and laugh because you want to know what I brought for my nightshirt? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm sorry. What did you bring for your nightshirt? This Come is on. what I brought for my I'm just going to my bathroom. I'm just going to my bathroom. I would really like mine uh, because that's awesome. It makes me seem like a uh, pretentious, uh, pretentious hipster who hit, which is great. Fantastic. I'll actually be wearing this. Or is it even on? I mean, like, yes, it is. Um, these were actually um, they're actually produced by Ardvark Press. Ardvark. Oh, Ardvark. So dark, Drew. Thank you. Um, and I'm so dark. You're yeah, so I'm so dark. Actually, it's the only time in my life I'm ever going to hear that from anybody. <laughs> yeah, our bark tees were nice enough to. Uh, there you go. I know Waverly and the company. Um, and wow, yeah, I just now feel like the most oh. horrible, horrible Why? show. Oh, wait, there's a third shirt in there. Maybe, maybe you uh, can so switch. The good. third like shirt that. is for me. Yeah. Oh, it which is. is yes. This oh, is the one I got. Nice. I got two now. Wow. Now I'll tell you what, if I can fit into this medium, yeah. I'll wear it. Um, I got two now. It won't look pretty. 
Yes, but yeah, you said you didn't have a Doctor Who shirt. I don't have a Doctor Who shirt. And I talked to Waverly. Um, I told him we would plug his shirts. Yeah, that they actually included the movie Who, yes. which is, that is yeah. pretty styling. Yeah. The other one I was thinking about getting you was the, uh, uh, the My Little Pony Doctor Who shirt. Thank you for giving me yeah. this shirt. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're actually working on getting the Doctor Who or the the the, the eleven Doctor Who shirt um, on like um, T T Fury or, sure. or and that's where I'll probably pick that one up because um, I just I, I don't like the way that they they press shirts and the shirt sizes there. But yeah, that is your official first Doctor Who shirt. I was a Whovian <coughs> before Whovian, and I, you know when I saw this originally, I thought I was going to say I was a Whovian, and then you flip it down. Now yeah. I'm a hooligan. Yeah. yeah, that's very neat. I like it a yeah. lot. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now yeah. you're all mad. Yeah, I'm all mad at you now. <laughs> you should have hid that shirt and never let me know to this day that you have that one. But you shouldn't have been mean to me all day. I was not. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. This looks terrifying, by the way. Oh, this is 